there and welcome to another Doug the Gardener snapshot video. Snapshot because we're just going to be looking at one particular genus or species of plant. And today we're going to be looking at Coralus. Coralus are hazels. And the wild hazel in the UK and Northern Europe is Coralus avalana. And that's where we get hazelnuts from. Most of the hazelnuts we buy in shops are probably varieties of this particular species. The variety I have growing in my garden is Coralus avalana contorta. Contorta, as you will see from pictures, means the actual branches and also the foliage is contorted. And this was discovered by Lord Ducci in an English hedgerow round about 1863. This variety makes a multi-stemmed shrub or small tree. who's been for a walk in the woods in spring. That's around about February thereabouts. We'll have noticed trees hanging with yellow catkins. And those are the male flowers of the hazel, and that's the yellow pollen which covers them. The female flower is fairly insignificant. It's a small bud-like structure with bright red stigma. So if you look closely, you will see it. Throughout summer, you get these really strange contorted leaves deep green and then eventually in autumn they'll turn a gorgeous yellow color after quite a few years it will eventually reach three meters in height and it does prefer fertile well-drained soil in sun or a partial shade once autumn has finished and the leaves have dropped you will notice the contorted stems they're not quite so obvious in summer because they really are well clothed with foliage with leaves and these stems are much appreciated by flower arrangers Occasionally you will even get an odd hazelnut, but that's quite exceptional. They don't fruit quite as well as the native species. A fairly recent introduction has been Coralus avalana contorta red majestic. And the difference here is that the foliage is red all the way through summer. Unlike the plain green contorta, this variety needs to be planted in full sun to keep the best leaf colour. It is relatively problem free except for suckers because the actual varieties are grafted onto wild hazel and the wild hazel rootstock is quite vigorous. And if you want to discover more about suckers then please go and look at my video which is budding, grafting and suckers and that will tell you what to look out for. So just keep an eye on for suckers and if you see any take them off straight away. Otherwise they will swamp the rest of the plant and you'll end up with just an ordinary hazel. That's not what you want in your nice flower bed. So there we have it. We have Coralus avalana contorta and Coralus avalana contorta red majestic. So this has been another Doug the Gardener snapshot video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.